Quavius Keate Marshall, also known as Quavo, is an American rapper, singer, songwriter, and record producer. He's best recognized for co-founding and leading the hip-hop trap group Migos. Quavo is Takeoff's uncle and Offset's cousin, hence he is linked to his fellow Migos members. Typical of most rappers, Quavo has amassed a huge collection of expensive and lavish jewelry. In today's video, we're going to delve into details about Quavo and his insane jewelry collection. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Interact with us, subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Thanks! Quavo's Impressive Jewelry Collection Quavo, like his Migos brothers, is a self-made millionaire at the age of 27. His personal worth is reported to be over $30 million, with Amigos' total net worth estimated to be around $50 million. Given that Offset is married to Cardi B, who became one of hip-hop's A-list stars last year and has been raking in the dough, that figure is probably a touch-off. Quavo is a well-dressed gentleman. At this point, he's a hip-hop icon, which means he needs to look the part. At places like Ama Maniere in Atlanta, you may find the rarest and most costly streetwear sneakers, and as he puts it, dripping with ice. After showing Little Pump's large jewelry collection, GQ recently met up with Quavo to see his amazing collection of diamond-encrusted jewelry that he has accumulated since Migos' debut. While walking us through his bust-down pieces, the Atlanta rapper dropped quotable remarks along the way. He began the interview easy, showing off some of his Gucci wristbands, which he actually received for free, as he noted in the interview. Quavo showed off an incredible honcho bracelet that is very iced out. He said it was a gift which is another reason why he loves this piece. He went on to show off these very impressive yet intimidating rings that spell out honcho along his fingers. He said he was inspired by the guys in the 80s who wore their fingers entirely in one ring. However, Quavo decided to get all the letters done as individual rings, so he was able to move his fingers more freely. Smart move. When Quavo started talking about his watches, things really started to get expensive. The first watch he showed was a two-tone Patek, and he said that when the watch first dropped, which is when he bought it, it cost him around $80,000. He also showed off an extremely lavish skeleton watch, which he purchased for over $100,000. Next up, he showed off his chains and pendants. First up was his Datway pendant with, that was written in the same format and font as Subway, the popular fast food establishment. He then showed off a pendant that resembled a tribal figure. This was a custom piece that cost him around $150,000. He talked about how he he and the fellow Migos all try to outdo each other when it comes to the coolest pieces on the market, always going above and beyond to find great, unique jewelry. What does he spend his fortune on? Car collection. Quavo has a net worth of more than $30 million, which he has accumulated from the mixtapes, songs, and albums he has published in the past with his band. Quavo drives a white Lamborghini, a Mercedes-Benz G-Class, and a Mercedes-Benz S-Class. Quavo has a new McLaren 720S supercar. Furthermore, in his Instagram photo of the car, he calls out all other rappers claiming that he is the only one owning one. Swizz Beats might have an opinion on the matter. He also has a beautiful Rolls Royce Cullinan. Hip-hop artists, particularly rappers, enjoy incorporating brands into their rhymes. Quavo, Future, The Weeknd, and Kodak Black are just a few artists who mention roles in their songs. Drea ACL Forgiato wheels, custom-painted wheels, black barrels with mandarin pearl orange face, custom-painted brakes, custom starlight headliner, custom-painted floating center caps, black badge grill, two-toned custom-painted emblems, SunTech Films window tint are among the features on Quavo's Rolls-Royce Cullinan. He also owns a Lamborghini Aventador. With all of the changes, the car is said to have cost $1 million. Why? First and foremost, the vehicle is a Lamborghini Aventador, which retails for $600,000 without options. The 28-year-old rap singer also doesn't skimp on his transportation, as he and Sawidi arrived in their bespoke $1 million Lamborghini Aventador in Hollywood. Quavo had his whip customized by DreamWorks Motorsport, which included new rims, a unique interior, a custom print wrap, and a remote-controlled LED underskirt. Finally, the rapper has an insane custom Mercedes-Benz. The Migos ringleader Quavo's 2019 AMG G63 is a tank of a Mercedes, especially in matte black, but he's not afraid. After all, he drove up to his nephew Takeoff's video shoot in Doraville, Georgia in his own Mercedes-Benz G-Class 44, which he calls Slime Green. Property In 2018, Quavo became quite the real estate investor, spending over $2.5 million on three Georgia mansions in the last year. Migos Touring Inc., the Migos rapper's company, 
purchased a six-bedroom, 6.5-bathroom, 11,000-square-foot mansion in Alpharetta, Georgia on August 30th, 2017. In 2019, a home previously owned by Cuevo was back on the market for a large $1.35 million. The mansion, dubbed the Castle at Cromwell, is a lavish homage to the grandiose 14th-century Chateau de Chenonceau, a picture-perfect estate on the Cher. The Peach State Edition is a little more recent. It was completed in 1996, contains six bedrooms, five bathrooms, and four and a half baths, and is 12,000 square feet. The one-acre property is located in one of the country's most affluent areas. To unlock the home's real value, some renovations and repairs are required. This mansion would cost $5.5 million to build today, and according to listing agent Anastasia Nevdanova, it was advertised earlier this year for just under $1.5 million, and with the latest price reduction, it'll be a steal for a buyer seeking a castle-type home in Atlanta. Its location and history may make it worth the money. Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown, Usher, and Allen Iverson have all lived in the upscale country club of the South area. Visitors to the residents in recent months have included fellow Migos member Offset, Cardi B, and Bob Whitfield. Who is Quavo? Quavius Keati Marshall was born in Athens, Georgia on April 2, 1991. Marshall was born to a hairstylist mother and a father who died when Quavo was four years old. Migos's three members grew up in Gwinnett County, a mainly suburban area around a half hour northeast of Atlanta. Marshall was a senior at Berkmar High School, where he was the starting quarterback for the football team in 2009. In 2009, Berkmar went 1-9 while Marshall completed 19 of 25 for 201 yards and three touchdowns in the season's first win. In 2009, Cuevo set the record by completing 28 passes in a single game. Marshall dropped out of Berkmar months before graduation, despite finishing the football season for his senior year. Cuevo and fellow rappers Take Off and Offset created Migos in 2008. The three members are connected and were reared by Cuevo's mother together. Takeoff's uncle is Cuevo, and Cuevo's cousin is Offset. The Lawrenceville, Georgia-based band was formerly known as Polo Club. After thinking that Polo Club was too generic, the group changed their name to Migos. On August 25, 2011, the group released their debut full-length project, Juke Session, a mixtape. On June 1, 2012, they released the mixtape No Label. After the release of their track Versace in 2013, Migos became well-known. Drake remixed the song, which reached number 99 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart and number 31 on the Hot R&B Hip Hop Songs chart. Quavo's first lead single as a solo artist was Champions, which featured a number of other musicians and reached number 71 on the Billboard Hot 100. Quavo was featured on several famous songs outside of Migos, including Congratulations, I'm the One, Portland, and No Brainer. Following the success of Migos' second studio album, Culture, which hit number one on the U.S. Billboard 200 chart, Quavo previously collaborated with Houston-based rapper Travis Scott on the Young Thug duet Pick Up the Phone, and Scott confirmed in an interview with GQ that he was working on a joint album with Quavo. Quavo revealed on December 21, 2017 that he and Travis Scott would release Huncho Jack, Jack Huncho on December 22, 2017 with no prior promotion. The album had eight tracks that debuted on the Billboard Hot 100. Quavo released three singles for his upcoming debut solo album, Workin' Me, Lamp Talk, and Bubblegum, on January 26, 2018 with Workin' Me reaching number 50 on the Billboard Hot 100, marking Quavo's highest charting track as a solo artist. Quavo and Madonna performed Future at the Eurovision Song Contest 2019 Grand Finale on May 18, 2019. And there you have it, everything you need to know about Quavo's pricey and lavish jewelry collection that seems to be forever growing along with his net worth and other things he spends his fortune on. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our new and upcoming content. Thanks for watching.